Sir, have you heard about the XCVM? Composable Finance continuing their work on their cross-chain virtual machine. Tapping into Cosm Wasm to eventually allow developers to build natively multi-chain applications to work anywhere the inter-blockchain communication protocol touches. Which, thanks to their work with Polymer and now additionally funded by a grant with Interchain, could expand beyond Cosmos to any chain that supports light clients via their Centauri bridge. Connected at one end to their DeFi centerpiece, the Pablo Dex, with multiple AMM options, custom fees, a fairly launched Pablo token, and an additional arm of liquidity marching from popular EVMs across their mosaic relayer. We're still waiting on upgrades and fixes to the second phase of that transfer availability layer, but once it's finished, unique tools like Instrumental will allow users on Ethereum, for instance, to take part in farming opportunities on Pablo, thereby providing liquidity in the Dotsama ecosystem without having to go through the trouble of bridging and finding those opportunities themselves. But as we wait on this vision, DeFi continues to roll out across the network. Talisman is now integrated with Zenlink. Genshiro is about to launch their order book decks. Parallel Finance is offering juicy rewards on their Liquid KSM staking program, and will have their product lead and director of marketing Michael Seitz on Space Monkeys in the middle of next week to tell us all about it. Meanwhile, the Akala Foundation is integrating their Liquid staking into Coinbase, starting with LKSM from Karura. Mangata also connecting with Karura to get AUSD into their decks. They recently completed a $4.2 million raise. Congratulations to the team. And you can now mint AUSD directly in SubWallet with this fresh integration. They've also added CSM from Crust to their Karura swap on the back of this liquidity mining program with Calamari on the way. Oh, and they're also sponsoring some sort of harebrained idea Alice and Bob came up with, where Chaos Dao apes and Kusama kings fish to the death when while shot at by other communities. Largest hall wins? We'll be sure to cover this bloodbath right here on the Kusamarian. Boonsama 2.0 artwork by Justin Cruz, by the way, looking phenomenal. Munsama 2.0 will lead to the rollout of Exosama, its game. The battle for Nova appears to be getting a complete overhaul, with a focus on expressing its battle engine across multiple blockchains and metaverses, including directly in Telegram. A sort of Kusamamon game incorporating Petsama and Eggsama? No idea, but always glued to the next move on Donnie Big Bag's Twitter. Singular, of course, making it all possible, with recent updates featuring bulk migration and the ability to see volumes across collections on Remark 1 and 2. They've actually delayed their land sale to integrate a whole whack of ideas they believe will serve their community better, including some benefits to owning various backgrounds, such as discounts for related land plots. Remember, you still need to burn your land deed voucher and include your Moon River address in the memo before the end of May. Stano built this awesome tool to track that progress, and not so many people have so far followed through. Remark also looks like it will attempt to destroy the need for KSM existential deposits on state mine accounts holding Remark, thereby avoiding that mass Remark token migration we were speaking about a couple months ago. They will have to get that proposal through a very busy governance season on Kusama, however, with three parallel referenda up for vote. A controversial one where Parallel's Heiko chain is looking to recoup funds lost in error with the force transfer function, an upgrade to prepare Kusama for XEM v3, and Karura is looking to swap leases between their current parachain and the one they self-funded with a couple more public proposals waiting in the queue. Makes you wonder how Councillor Raoul can keep it all together while also taking the time to join us for a very special Space Monkeys releasing tomorrow night. If you're interested in the Polkadot or Kusama treasuries, this is definitely one you need to watch. In auction action, Pokedex looking good on Polkadot, but oh, Bifrost takes the lead just as we enter the auction period. Over on Kusama, Shiden, the first parachain to crowd loan a second lease, absolutely doinking into first place just as the candle was lit, but oh! Pyfrost simultaneously sneaking past them with a self-funded bid. 
We actually have some very cool projects coming up on Kusama. Imbue, they've completed the final milestone for their Web3 grant. They're doing decentralized crowdfunding. Pendulum, they're looking at the cross-border payments market. We have other ecosystems wanting to reach into Dotsama through a parachain. Sumi, that's the wallet-to-wallet -wallet encrypted messaging protocol Alex told us about on Space Monkeys last week and a video NFT platform is in the works? Sir, there is no bear market in building on Dotsama. And I got this strange video dropped in my DMs. Hello, my name is Rich Valentin. Welcome to Midnight Club. Have a great night, everybody.